5.2 million, but there are Scots around the world watching the results very closely. And just as in Scotland, opinion is divided. CCTV's Christian Yeo has more on the independence debate in Canada. In Toronto, the sound of bagpipes and aroma of haggis will lead you here to the Caledonian pub. Owner Donna Wolfe is a proud Scot and supporter of independence. I've always been Scottish, never call myself British, I've always been Scottish. And that, even traveling around the world, I've always said that. More than four million Canadians identify as Scottish. Canada's first Prime Minister, John Macdonald, was a young boy when his family immigrated from Glasgow. So many came here, a province was named after them. Nova Scotia is Latin for New Scotland. So, naturally, views here on independence are strong. Scots living in Canada don't get a vote this week, but they do have plenty to say on the matter. The next time these expats return to the motherland, things could be quite different there. Scotland should be run by Scottish people. We should be able to vote in a Scottish government who will look after our interests and not rely on an English government that doesn't care about Scotland. We need to, we need to step up, and I think this will happen, and bring our country back to us. The status quo right now, as it is, is horrible. It can't get worse for Scotland, it can only get better. Canada has itself faced the prospect of separation. Twice, Quebec has voted to form its own country, most recently in 1995 with a razor-thin defeat. The vote in Scotland looks to be just as tight. There are many unanswered questions affecting Scots at home and abroad. For instance, immigration rules, taxation and trade agreements. Some believe last-minute jitters will push many to vote to stay with the UK. I think two world wars have brought us together in, in many ways. That's been a major factor. We've been working together for a long time. When it comes down to the wire and they get into that ballot area and they look at the question, I think a lot of people will have doubts and will perhaps change their mind. Whichever way the votes land, one winner may have already emerged. Scottish national pride is arguably stronger than it's been for decades. Scots around the world will likely wave their blue and white flags regardless of the result. Christian Yeo, CCTV, Toronto.